<laughs> Welcome back to the channel, everyone. That Oregon duck slouched in the chair behind me still <laughs> cracks me up in those clips. And there's a lady back there making copies. Uh, I mean, <laughs> just can't make this stuff up. Oh man, it was. It, it would be an extreme understatement to say all photo shoots are created equal, especially after that one. I mean, just all the mascots lined up against the wall waiting to get their pictures done was freaking hilarious. And those guys and gals are in full character the entire time they're in those suits. So it was a fun dynamic to say the least. All right, uh, with all that fun aside, I actually had a job to do that day. And the images from this shoot are for a national ad campaign taking place uh, this college football season. And if you visit some college football related websites, there will be a pretty good chance you'll see some of this work in the coming months. So you know, let me set the scene. The uh, location is a freight line and the client is a freight line distribution hub and it is gonna be operational during our shoot. And my shoot is not the only one going on as there was a TV commercial spot being filmed at the same time. So those two dynamics would play a large part on where, when, and how I could conduct the shoot. Uh, another aspect was weather, and I needed to capture an image of one of their 18-wheelers for the primary background plate, and it was unfortunately raining that morning. But fortunately, it did clear long enough for me to have about five minutes with their special trailer rig before it was needed for a video shot. Now, we did a location scout the day before, so I knew where the truck needed to be to get that shot uh, that we wanted, and that fact made it possible between the rain and the video schedule uh, to get that image. Uh, the truck location was also determined by uh, the layout of the building and the fact that the client wanted something that looked like sunrise or sunset. And the one side of the hub that would work was on the east side of the building. So to make that work, we had to go for the sunrise. You know, there was a lot going on that we had to consider. And fortunately, the sun did peek out for a few frames while I was capturing uh, the images of the, the rig there. And in the video intro, you could see the, that result, obviously with some Photoshop work to clear everything else uh, out of the frame. Okay, knowing we were gonna be compositing these mascots into that background plate, and now knowing where the sun was in relation to the truck and the mascots, I could set up my lighting to somewhat match it. But considering the subject matter and direction from the client, they really weren't all that concerned with making it super believable in a visual sense but more so you know, something fun and poppy when it came to the lighting to go along with the general theme of this campaign. And uh, that made things easier in a sense, but I did construct my lighting you know, with that sun placement in mind, kind of over on this side of the frame. Uh, so let's jump into the computer and I'll walk you through the setup. Okay, so this we're gonna kind of work from behind me and back around. So I'm positioned in front of this light here, and this is one of my seven foot uh, silver Westcott umbrellas, and I'm using this for fill. Let me I'll tell you what, we can rotate back around. So here's my back backdrop uh, where that would be behind the mascots. And you can see we're actually in kind of the office of uh, this distribution hub, and we had Basically, we had to make it work here because they were setting up video out in the back area. I don't rotate around enough, but out to the other side of the setup here is, is where all the shipping and receiving is taking place. And there was some room out there, but then it was super hot and humid because of the rain that morning. Uh, but that was kind of a no-go because they were uh, doing the workers working back there. And then the spaces where they weren't working, they were setting up for the TV spot. So this is basically what I had to work with. You know, and it's not ideal for people dressed in mascots, which make them larger than they usually would be and taller. And I had some, as you can see here, some low ceilings to deal with. Uh, and it's just one of those examples of where you just have to make do with what is put in front of you and do the best you can do uh, to capture what you're asked to capture. So. I'm basically gonna, I'm basically placed in front of this light here. So this is my fill light uh, right here. 
And you see, I've got it on six. You can see the power there, which is kind of high. But when we were not tasked with making these, you know, the lighting didn't need to be dramatic on these mascots. And <laughs> for the mascots, just lighting these guys, you just want to make sure, at least in my mind, this is how I, I when I've ever I've photographed mascots, I just want to get lighting on them because you've got fur, you've got all kinds of different things, uh, different shapes based off of who they are. And it's just best to get enough lighting on them to, to you know, basically just cover the, the subject as a whole. And then if you need to in post, dial it in that way. And one thing you don't have to worry about are facial expressions. So uh, that's a bonus and that makes things pretty easy here. And these folks are trained in their moves. And so my approach to them was just when you get, and we had to do this quick. And so my approach to them was to just hit me with three or four of your kind of signature moves, um, poses, and then, you know, we're out. So I had 17 mascots to do in a very short amount of time. We were jockeying back and forth with the video schedule, so they were getting pulled from video back to stills and then back and forth. So my goal was to get everyone through here as soon as possible uh, because as a as I kind of mentioned earlier, I mean, it was hot out, and these these folks were dressed in these outfits, and and they wanted to get out of them as much as possible after being outside uh, working on the video set. So, thinking about that and and just the, the regular schedule, I needed to be quick. So, all right, one light back here behind me was my fill. I'm going to rotate around. You can see I had my iMac there for the tethering setup. Another thing about shooting with a lot of light, I had the client the agency. They were all seeing the images come across and I wanted to make sure I had enough light where they presented themselves in a good way on the computer uh, and everyone felt good about what they were seeing. Uh, so let's rotate back around. Got another large light source off to what would be the right-hand side of the mascots there. And so that's gonna make that a little bit softer on that side. And that is not the sun side. So if we rotate around, you see I've got my white backdrop that I use to um, make it easier to cut these guys out and post. And let me rotate around here. So on this side, I've got one of the medium umbrellas. I think it's like a 44 inch uh, Westcott here, umbrella silver again. And then up in this up corner, which was representing my son, uh, I've just got the uh, reflector on the Profoto strobe here. So much punchier light coming from that angle. And that is where my son is. So you now I'm thinking I'm going to have a highlight, more of a highlight on that side and more of a fill on this right-hand side over here. And then I'm filling in the shadows with this light back behind me. Let me get back here, back behind me. So I'm keeping things pretty vanilla. So that's one, two, three, four lights for uh, this setup here. And another reason with the compositing in mind for this light here is, is this light represent, representing the sun will also cast a shadow off of my mascots onto the floor, kind of in this direction toward this light. So when I'm compositing them, in, them into that uh, main backdrop plate, I will know kind of how to set up uh, those shadows. And you can see that in that intro clip uh, if you go back and check that out. It's really not my place to, to dump all these images into my video because not all of them have been used yet. And it's just something I don't like to do uh, when I'm on the front end of releasing this campaign and making these videos. Another thing I will point out, because I know people like uh, this information as well, I was using the Canon R5 with the 24 to 70 uh, lens. And I just, I had to shoot wider than I would have wanted to with this setup. But let me show you one other little thing that I did here is I used my tripod to get that background plate. And so I brought the tripod in and I just, I hate shooting on a tripod and, and these mascots are very dynamic with their poses. But I did bring that in to use as a visual reference for the height of my camera uh, from the background plate. So that, I knew these were gonna be full body composites for some of the images and I needed that reference just to make that. Uh, as easy as possible, as seamless as possible when I'm dropping them into that backdrop. Uh, so 
That's kind of basically it. Uh, pretty simple type of setup. It was more logistical stuff that I had to maneuver and then dealing with the agency folks and clients that were around there uh, that weren't really used to being on or around you know, photography set up with tethering and that. So I had to kind of take all that into consideration. So, but just another behind the scenes from one of these commercial shoots, as I said, not, not all these are created equal. This was a, a, a lot of fun. It was pretty stressful, but we got it done. And, you know, keep your eyes out for this campaign. That'll be pretty much going all fall. Uh, so, if you feel like this uh, video is worthy, please you know, hit that thumbs up down there. If you want to see more content like this in the future, hit that subscribe and the notification bell down there as well. Uh, in the meantime, you can find me on social media at Quants Photo and Prolight Mods. Y'all stay safe and healthy out there, and I will see you soon again in the next one. <laughs>